Wan sat on bed and groaned while pressing her head. Why the hell I drink? Jungkook immediately took his name as he was the one who offered her drink. She inhaled and exhaled deeply and stepped down from bed. She went inside washroom to get fresh. My head. She tied her hair in bun and went out of bedroom lazily. Jungkook? What he is doing here? He was sleeping on couch. She went towards him and stared him. His hair was messy. A pout was formed on his lip. He was looking so cute. A smile formed on Wan's face. She bent down a little and kissed his hair. How she wished to see this side for the rest of her life, that it's not possible. She took a deep breath and patted his cheek. Jungkook. Jungkook wake up. He opened his eyes and snuggled in the pillow, which he was hugging. I want to sleep more, he whined. Why are you sleeping here, huh? He pulled the pillow and stared her. She probably don't remember what she did after getting drunk. I got tired in handling you, so I slept here. He sat on couch for some reason. He felt nervous in front wine. Mm, oh, I'm going to make coffee. Do you wanna take? Yeah, I'll get fresh. She nodded her head and went to make coffee. He stretched his arm and went to a balcony to take some fresh air. He cracked his bones and his eyes went on Jihoon, who was talking on phone. His face clenched and he went back in living room. Are you done? She shook her head. Okay, how is your head? Heavy. I will kill you if you offer me drink next time. He chuckled slightly. I will make hangover soup for you. She didn't say anything and took a glance of him. He started making soup for her and she made coffee. Here, she extended coffee towards him. His hand was busy and his hair was falling on his face. Want some help? Yeah, tada. She nodded and pushed his hair back. I'll bring hair band. He nodded. She headed out of kitchen and on meantime, Jihoon came inside apartment. I told you to be ready. Go get rep. His gaze went on Jungkook. What are you doing here? Jungkook left knife. I'm making hangover soup for wine. Do you want some? Hmm? Jihoon's face clenched and he looked at wine. Go, get ready fast. He spoke while clearing her. I won't go anywhere. Don't make me angry and do what I said. This is my house and I won't go anywhere, leaving it. Jihoon's face clenched and he inhaled deeply while nodding his head. So you want me to force you, right? Okay then. He moved close to her and hold her hand. We are not living here anymore. He took a glance of Jungkook, who was busy in cooking. Leave my hand. He started dragging her to a stool. Jihoon, I said leave my hand. She looked at Jungkook for help, but he was not even looking at her. Jihoon, she pulled her hand out of his grip. I won't go anywhere. She spoke in raised voice and it triggered Jihoon. She headed to his bedroom and he went behind her. Seems like last night's hangover's effect is still in you. He grabbed her hand tightly. Jihoon, and I know very well how to bring you out of effect. He started dragging her to a store. When I looked at Jungkook, is he dead? He was behaving like nothing is happening here. Jihoon, be my hand. She tried to free herself from his grip, but he was holding her tightly. He opened door. Ji, she stopped speaking. Who are you? Same question. Who are you? She diverted her attention to wine. Wine, child, I miss you so much. She entered in house and hugged wine, and Jihoon left her hand. Jungkook smiled and poured soup in bowl. Done. I also miss you, auntie. Then why were you not coming to meet us? She broke the hug. Where is Jungkook? Mother, here. 
He came out of kitchen with a bowl. He ate Jungkook's special soup. He extended soup bowl to was wine, going to a glance of Jeon. I'm happy to see you taking care of my daughter. She smiled widely and wine took bowl from Jungkook. Do you also want some Mr. Lee? Jeon cleared Jungkook. Some other people took him inside. Hey wine, how are you? She came to Wine and gave her a hug. I'm good, Arnie. How are you? I'm also good. Hi, Nuna. Hello. Please have a seat. This is John and Joe. He moved to a couch and Joe and brought some luggage inside. We thought to spend some time here. You don't have any problem, right? Of course not. It will be fun if you all will stay here. Yes, it will be fun. Fun, you know, I miss you so much. We can play games as much as we want. He saw his excitement and everyone chuckled. You have your soup. They seated on couch and started talking. Jungkook showed his hand inside his pocket and moved towards Jaehyun. You can take your leave. They won't let one go in any condition. Or if you want, you can join them. My family won't mind. He winked at Jihyun and Jihyun's face blinked. See you later. He headed out of Wan's apartment and Jihyun looked at Wan. You are not going to college today and we will go out for lunch, okay? Wan smiled a little and nodded her head while taking a glance of Jihyun. By the way, who are you? He's my fiancé. Oh, come sit with us. I have work. He went out of her apartment. I didn't like your fiancé. It's okay. You don't have to marry him. No, no. He whined and everyone chuckled. Dad, hmm? I was saying we should think about Jihoon once again. I thought a lot before fixing this marriage. I told you before too. I won't change my mind and when Wine don't have any problem in marrying him, then why are you bringing this topic again and again? Nanjun sighed, Dad, what she is doing doesn't matter. As her guardian, we should think about her good and that's why I fixed her marriage with Jihyun. Now no more discussion. Jungkook laid on bed and sighed loudly while staring, ceiling. His heart clenched while thinking unknowingly he hurt wine. There was a pain on wine's face when he said that but he couldn't understand that. I know how you must have felt all the time. I didn't mean to hurt you more by saying that. What's going on? Sit with us. You know Joan is in love. Jungkook looked at Joan and he blushed. Wow, our boy is grown up. Well, who is she, huh? Did you propose to her? No, I'm nervous and she's my senior. He scratched back of his head. Hmm, tell her your feelings fast or else she will fall for someone else or someone else will propose her first. She chuckled and Jungkook looked at wine and she too looked at him. Okay, now spin the bottle. Jungkook, will you play? He nodded his head and Joohee spin the bottle. It stopped in front Jungkook. Truth or dare? Mm, dare. Show us your phone's home screen. Why? I want to see what's your wallpaper. He took a glance of wine and nodded his head. Mm, here. It was his family's picture in wallpaper. It's lock screen. Show us home screen. 
Jungkook signed and unlocked his phone and saw his phone's home screen to everyone and Wan's heart skipped a beat. It was her and Jungkook's childhood photo on his phone's screen. Wan Nuna, hmm, she's important for me just like family. She's very much important. He looked at Wan and she looked away. Oh, I'm jealous of your friendship. Why you didn't meet me and become my friend? It's because you are not as lucky as Wine Nuna. Hmm, Wine, don't mind that. I'm jealous of you. She pouted slightly and Wine smiled. How lost and lonely she was feeling last night, but now she felt she's important for few people. They are happy to have her in their life. Now I will spin the bottle. John took bottle and spin. It stopped in front Juhi. Truth or dare? You keep weird dare, so I will choose truth. Hmm, so is young your first love? Juhi took a deep breath and shook her head. Jiyeon, have a seat. How are you, Mr. Park? I'm good. How about you? You came for any work? She nodded his head. I want this marriage to happen as soon as possible. I want to start my life with Wine soon. Wine dad nodded his head. Mm, what about engagement next week and wedding next month? We can do a little more soon. Let's skip engagement and keep wedding next week. If this marriage happens fast, then your company will get so many more profit, Mr. Park. He sat on chair comfortably and Wanda nodded his head. Okay. Jungkook placed Wine on bed carefully and covered her with blanket. He stared her for some time and then placed a kiss on her forehead. Good night. Thank you mom, you guys came on time. He took seat on couch beside his mom. What's going on? Why is he marrying suddenly? Her dad fixed her marriage and she is being completely negative and accepting this marriage. He sighed loudly and looked at his mom. I'm worried for her. I want to say something. Hmm? I want to marry her. Mr. John smiled. Do you love her? He laid on couch and put his head on her lap. I don't know, mom. I'm confused. She kissed his head. What's making you confused? Mom, I was in love with a girl a few months ago. It was one-sided and now things change. I feel awkward around her and I don't feel anything when I see her with her boyfriend. That's because your heart accepted that she can't be yours. It's not something big. It happens sometime. You are moving on from her. And lately I start feeling nervous around wine. Is it possible to fall in love again? Of course, it is. People fall in love again. You don't think too much and do what you feel good. And I'm happy to see you thinking this much about wine. You, you know, your dad and I always wanted you both to marry each other. You both are perfect for each other. You will handle each other at worst. She smiled at Jungkook and placed a kiss on his forehead. Good morning, auntie. Good morning. Come, I cook breakfast. I took a seat on dining table and Mrs. John served her. Onni? She is still sleeping. You eat, you will get late for college. I'm going to check Jungkook and Juwon. Wine noted her head and Mrs. John headed out of her apartment. She started eating and her phone ring. She checked caller ID and bite her lower lip. Yes, Dad? Come home after college. Let's go. You go, I will go park mansion. Dad call me. Why? I don't know. He took a deep breath and nodded. I will come with you. No need. No need of that. 
Jungkook and Hwan turned towards him. You go. Do your work. I will take care of my fiancé, okay? Jungkook's jaw clenched. Let's go, sweetheart. He held Hwan's hand and she dig her teeth in her lower lip and looked at Jungkook. Hmm. He started walking towards the car but Jungkook held Hwan's hand. What? Huh? I told you I'm against of opposite gender friendship, didn't I? He asked to wine, Wine took a deep breath and nodded her head. Hmm. She looked at Jungkook and pushed his hand away. Wine. She pushed Jihyun's hand too and went towards his car. It will be good if you stop roaming around my fiancé and focus on your own life. Jungkook glared Jihyun. One sigh while staring ceiling, hell is waiting for you one. I'm feeling like I'm doing something worst. Well, yes, I'm doing. She took a deep breath and closed her eyes, but it got open when she heard some noise coming from her balcony. She gulped and took a wash. She moved towards the glass door while trying to see is anyone outside. Wine. Her eyes widened. Junko. She immediately went towards the balcony. Hey, what are you doing? Help me, I'll fall. She hold his hand and helping him in coming up. He bent down and alert and start catching breath. What is this, huh? Why you came here like this? He suddenly hugged her. Her heartbeat raised and he feel that. Jungkook, where is your phone? Do you know how much worried I was from yesterday? He broke the hug and she looked down. And why you didn't come home yesterday? Jungkook, my wedding is next week. Jungkook's eyes widened and breath he checked. What? Why this soon? She looked away from him. Dad took my phone and I'm not allowed to go out of this room. That's why I couldn't call you. He pushed his hair back while taking few deep breaths. It's getting too much now. He sounded mad. Jungkook leave from here now. If dad see you here, he will be mad at me. Can you climb down this wall? He ignored her words. What? Hmm, let's go from here. I can't. I will be in problem and now I don't want any more problems in my life. That's why I'm saying you. Let's go with me and take out those negative thoughts from your mind. She sigh as he knew he will give her lecture. You won't understand how it feels when you know no one wants you. His heart clenched. She turned to go back in bedroom but he hold her hand. I want you. Her heart skipped a beat. Don't take his words in wrong way why. She tried to pull her hand out of his grip but he pulled her more close and hugged her from behind. Her Heartbeat raised. It was first time when he did that and she felt his raised heartbeat on her back. Why? Sharing hug was not something new for them but she never felt his heartbeat raising. Then what's special today? Jungkook, what are... I want you in my life forever. That's not possible. That's possible. Let's get married. Hmm? See, I talked to mom about it and she's really happy. Don't talk nonsense. Marriage is not joke. She removed his hand from her vest and faced him. I'm not joking. I'm serious. She shook her head. Why? Why no? We are grown up. We know what's wrong and right. We can take our life's decision. Isn't it enough to get married, huh? Then why no? That's not enough. Just because we are grown up, you should marry, huh? We are good as friends. Don't make things complicate and go back home now. It's getting late. She turned to go back in bedroom but you loves me. Isn't that enough? Her eyes widened after hearing that and she turned around. What are you saying? I know you loves me. You confessed that night when you were drunk. Oh. And I, I, yes.
Yes, I love you, but still we can't marry. You don't have to force yourself with me.